welcome back to my channel once again today we are going to I'm going to show you how to make live solution okay so to start making live solution you need kill like you need measuring cups you need spatula if you don't have spatula you can use stick this is spatula and when you are using spatula make sure that it's a stronger one because this one i have it's very small and i use it to you know stir my caustic soda or my live solution and look at how it has met the spatula so because it's hot you need a stronger spatula and you also need a gun thermometer if you don't have gun thermometer you can use this one the normal hospital thermometer you can use it it also works the same way because we are only looking at temperature and you also need a hydrometer this is a hydrometer it's very very important you need one to help you take your measurements you can if you don't have skill to you can use like calculator for example some of the like calculators are the sage.com and soapcalc.com so when you use those like calculators you can calculate for your lie and then quantity of water but i've shown so many people how to use the like calculator and they keep coming back to ask of yes the measurements how many liters how many mil so i'm going to with this video i'm going to show you how to miss your lie solution with by using your measuring cups and not the lie calculator and of course you will need your protective gloves and then goggles and also when you are mixing lye solution you have to do it in an in an open space where there's enough air so that you won't get choked because it's very hot and also try to use uh, plastic bowls and then cups as possible because the lye is very hot so when you mix it in a saucepan the you know sometimes you might not even hold when you tie the suspend by mistake, it might, you know, burn your hand. So it's always advisable to use bowls and buckets to mix the lye solution. So let me show you, because of some of the questions that I get, let me show you how the uh, measuring scale works. Mine has um, all the measurements on it. That's because in this, my sister gave it to me. It has all the measurements on it. When you see LB, LB means pounds. You see grams here. You see ounce here. You see kg here. So if you are measuring in ounce, you can use it. If you are measuring in pounds, you can use it. If you are measuring in kg, you can use it. So you just follow it. You see this one is one. This is 5 kg. So if you pour something on it, you can just tune it to the 1 kg. Or... So that it will go round to this place. So you can even start it. It's okay. This is zero. So zero, you pour one kg to run to this place. So this will make your measuring something one kg. If you want to use a, let's say pound. Pound is here, LB. So this is one pound. This is two pounds. This is three pounds. And it goes. So if I want to use one pound, just rotate it from here. I will tune it here and then it will move to the one pound and I will start measuring with them. So if you want to use the ounce, you know from this one to this one is ounce. This one to this one is another ounce. So it follows like that. I'm lucky I have a skill that has everything. If you have a skill that some skills have only three measurements, some have two, you don't have problem. You just have to use what you have to to do your calculations. Now let's go to the mixing of the of the live solution. So before I start with the mixing, I already have my 
I've already sprayed everything here with alcohol and then cleaned it first. I've allowed it to dry before I'll start. I'm going to start. So when you are using water for soap, please and please again, you need either need a distilled water. I will show you how to make I have a video, I'll just share it with share the link with you. How to make distilled water. Or if you don't have the salt water, you can just boil water and allow it to cool down. Before cool down, then you use it. So I've already boiled my water. I've allowed it to cool down. When you dip your hands in it, you can't feel anything. It's as ordinary as any water. So I'm going to do the measurement. I'm not going to use all the 100 ml, 1000 ml of caustic soda. This, this is just demonstration so i'm going to do use a few if you are using one kg of of caustic soda then you have to use four liters of water and if you are using half kg of caustic soda then you have to use two liters of water if you are using a quarter of caustic soda kg of caustic soda then you have to use one liter of water if we are using one eighth of a caustic soda, you then you need to use half liter of water. That is in kg. The caustic soda is in kg. So this is what I'm going to use so that it will be simple for all of us. So right now I have thousand ml here, which is equal to one kg. So I'm going to pour half of it, a quarter of it, so that I mix it only one liter of water. So I have all my safety gears on. I have my gloves, nose mask, and goggles. So I'll just pour one liter of water into the bowl first. You know, it shouldn't be the other way around. You don't have to pour the water on the caustic soda in the caustic soda but rather you have to pour the caustic soda into the bowl otherwise if you are making a large quantity you can even get some volcano eruption so as i have poured the water in i will just, I'll just gradually pour in my caustic soda if not for shooting i would have pour and stay but since i'm shooting i will just pour it in first I start to stir. It's very, very hot. And when you are stirring, please stir until the water becomes clear. Then you know that it's okay. So the water is clear enough so after that you have to leave it so the next day or you can still use it just allow it to cool down a while before you use it and before you start using it you know you have to get your gun thermometer or your ordinary thermometer like I say so you just pinch it to zero and then you touch it to the container you know it will just read and tell you it's too hot so that this thing will just beep and go off once it reach more than 50 degrees celsius mm -hmm. so it just goes off so you just allow it to settle and cool down so you take the measurement to use the same way the temperature you have here should match with the oil that you are going to use that's the the hotness of it so i will just allow it to cool down then i come back to take the measurements of the with the hydrometer so i left it and went to office so i'm now back i'm going to test for the 
use the hydrometer to test whether it's up to the concentration that I'm, I want. So as you can see. It's now on 1225. And this is what 1250. This is what I want to achieve. So now it's on 1250. So for instance, if I tested it and it wasn't up to the 1250, here is how you are going to correct it. I did another one and made sure that the concentration the concentration is low. So, I'm going to put it inside and see. So, as you can see, it's more than the 1225 one, two, that I'm looking for. It's 1200, zero, zero, which means the concentration of the light is too low. So, I have to add more of the caustic soda in order to correct it. And when you make it and the concentration is too much too, then you have to add more, more water to reduce the concentration. So with this, the concentration is too low. So I'm going to increase the concentration by adding some of the caustic soda and stir them. Test for it again, whether it's up to the concentration that I'm looking for. So I'm going to check whether I have achieved the concentration. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it has come out up a little. So I will keep on adding caustic soda to it until it gets to the one two two one two five zero that I'm looking for. So I'll just set this thing aside and then. So this is how light concentration is done. Hydrometer reading for soap can be 1275 or 1250. You can use both these measurements for of hydrometer levels to make soap. The soaps will come out perfectly. If it's the, it's more than 1250, then that means you are getting to a watery uh, soup so in the near future i will explain to you why 1250 and 1750 but for now we can still maintain this and make soup with it and this soup will come out perfectly so thank you for watching see you next time